Setting healthy boundaries is essential for protecting your emotional well-being and maintaining healthy relationships. Boundaries help define what is acceptable and unacceptable in your interactions with others, ensuring that your needs are respected and that you are not taken advantage of. In today's video, we are going to discuss the importance of setting boundaries, how to establish them, and how to enforce them in a way that promotes your mental and emotional health. What are healthy boundaries? Well, these are the limits that you set in your relationships that allow you to protect your personal space, your emotional well-being, and your values. They define what you are comfortable with and how you expect others to treat you. Boundaries can be physical, emotional, or mental, and they help you maintain a sense of autonomy and self-respect. So without boundaries, you may find yourself feeling overwhelmed, taken advantage of, or resentful. On the other hand, setting and maintaining boundaries allowed you to build relationships based on mutual respect, trust, and understanding. Step number one, understand the importance of boundaries. This is the first step in setting your boundaries. It's, it's understanding why they're important. Boundaries are essential for protecting your emotional well-being. They help you manage your emotions and prevent others from overstepping or violating your personal space. So in turn, they help you maintain healthy relationships because boundaries ensure that your relationships are balanced and that both parties' needs are respected. They preserve your sense of self because they help you maintain your identity and your autonomy, preventing you from losing yourself within relationships. They reduce stress and resentment because uh, they prevent you from feeling overwhelmed or taken advantage of, reducing feelings of stress, frustration and resentment. So recognizing the importance of boundaries empowers you to take control of your relationships and protect your emotional and mental health. Step number two, identify your boundaries. Before you can set a boundary, it's important to identify what the hell your boundaries are. So this is actually gonna involve reflecting on your needs, your values and your comfort levels in various situations. And you're going to draw on your experiences from this probably as well. So consider the following areas, physical boundaries, which involve your personal space, your privacy and physical touch. For example, how comfortable you are being with others, how close, how much physical contact you're comfortable with. You need to design your or develop your emotional boundaries, which involve your feelings, your emotions and your energy. For example, how much emotional labor are you willing to take on? How much time can you spend discussing certain topics before feeling drained? There's also your mental boundaries, which involve your thoughts, your opinions, and your beliefs. For example, how you respond to others, challenging your ideas, or how much you are willing to engage in certain types of discussions. You can also have boundaries with yourself, like if you're an overthinker and stuff like that, you can set boundaries on things, you know, try and hold that boundary. Time boundaries, which involve how you allocate your time and your energy. So how much time will you spend with others versus how much time you need for yourself? So by identifying these boundaries, you can gain a clearer understanding of what you need to feel safe, respected, and valued in your relationships. Step number three, communicate your boundaries clearly. Once you've identified your boundaries, the next step is to communicate them clearly to others. Because, so this involves expressing your needs and your limits in a way that is assertive, but respectful, and here I'm gonna give you some tips for effective communication. Be direct and specific. Clearly state what your boundaries are and what you expect from others. For example, I need some time alone after work to unwind before we talk about our day. Use I statements, frame your boundaries in terms of your own needs and your feelings rather than uh, using you statements and blaming or accusing the other person. For example, um, I feel overwhelmed when I'm constantly interrupted. Can we agree to let each other finish speaking? Stay calm and composed. Communicating boundaries is, is gonna be difficult, especially if you didn't have them with someone before, but it really is important to remain calm and composed. So avoid getting defensive or angry um, and focus on expressing your needs in a positive and constructive way. Be prepared for a pushback because some people are gonna resist or challenge your boundaries, especially if they're not used to you setting them. They may even leave your life because of them. Be prepared for it. Make sure you stand firm and reiterate your boundaries as needed. Remember that it is actually okay to assert your needs and to expect others to respect your boundaries. If they don't, then they're never gonna respect you anyway. Um, healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and understanding. So if you've got boundaries and someone else has got boundaries, you in turn also have to adhere to their boundary. 
Don't just have your boundaries and go, oh, we're gonna walk all over yours. Step number four, enforce your boundaries. Uh, because deciding what they are and then setting them is only half the battle. You need to then enforce them. This is also uh, equally important. Uh, what this means is holding others accountable when they overstep your boundaries and taking action to protect yourself if necessary. And I'm gonna give you some strategies for enforcing these boundaries. So be consistent. Consistency is absolutely key when it comes to enforcing boundaries. If someone oversteps your boundaries, remind them of your limits and reinforce the boundary. For example, I've asked you not to call me during work hours. Please respect that. Follow through with consequences if someone continues to violate your boundaries. And also don't enable them to get, if you move the boundary, you've lost. You know, they're gonna keep doing it. So it's important to follow through with the consequences. This might involve, dis in this case, distancing yourself from the person, limiting contact, or seeking support from others. For example, if you continue to ignore my boundaries, I'll have to take a step back from our relationship. Seek support if it's needed, as I mentioned, and if you're struggling to enforce your boundaries, consider seeking support from a therapist uh, or a trusted friend because they can provide guidance, encouragement, and accountability as you work to maintain your boundaries. Enforcing your boundaries is gonna be challenging, or can be challenging, but it's absolutely essential for protecting your emotional well-being and maintaining healthy relationships. Step number five, practice self-care. Setting and enforcing these boundaries can be emotionally taxing, so it's important to practice self-care throughout the process. This may well involve taking time for yourself, engaging in activities that bring you joy, or seeking support from loved ones. Remember that setting boundaries is an act of self-love and self-respect, and it's about prioritizing your well-being and creating a life that aligns with your values and your needs. So by practicing self-care, you can recharge your energy and stay strong in your commitment to maintaining healthy boundaries. So just to recap, setting the healthy boundaries is essential for protecting your emotional well-being and maintaining healthy relationships. By understanding the importance of boundaries, identifying your limits, communicating them clearly, enforcing them consistently, and practicing self-care, you are going to create a life where your needs are respected and your well-being is prioritized. There was a brief overview. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Please feel free to comment in the comment section below, share your experiences, ask any questions. You do deserve to be in relationships where your boundaries are honored and your emotional well-being is protected. Until I see you next time, as always, please take very good care of yourselves. Adios.